Hello again, MLS Sickos. Today's video is all about the ongoing expansion of Major League Soccer, a journey that's transforming the soccer landscape across North America. From the still relatively recent debuts of Cincinnati, into Miami, Nashville, Charlotte, through the fairy tale story of St. Louis City's debut season as the 29th team, to the electrifying prospects of the potential new cities, we're covering it all today. It's all about expansion clubs. So since 1996, MLS has been expanding and contracting as new clubs have entered the fray and some have fallen away. Looking at the most recent successful entrant, we have to talk St. Louis City SC, making its entrance in the 2023 season. As the 29th team, St. Louis not only brought a rich soccer history, an amazing fan base, but also they set the benchmark for further expansion teams. In a standout debut season, St. Louis exceeded even the most optimistic of expectations, with their success anchored with the tactical acumen of head coach Bradley Carnell. His squad's cohesion was evident immediately, with players like forward DP Yao Klaus leading the attack and finishing the season with a very decent haul of goals. Goalkeeper Roman Berkey was a bulwark between the posts, his clean sheet tally a testament to the team's defensive solidity. It was a collective effort with individual brilliance, as the statistics showed that St. Louis SC was not only a competitive force, but also a beacon of exciting forward-thinking soccer under Carnell's leadership. Now, MLS has a clear vision for its expansion teams, focusing on a committed ownership, plans for soccer-specific stadiums, and a strong local fan base. These criteria ensure that new teams are set up for success both on and off the pitch. The expansion journey has seen some jaw-dropping financial commitments. Back in 2013, New York City set a precedent with a $100 million expansion fee. This record was later shattered by Cincinnati and Nashville, forking out $150 million, and the entrance fee is even reaching up to a reported $500 million for the 30th team. The stakes have literally never been higher. Looking ahead, MLS is set to welcome its 30th team, San Diego FC, in 2025. This move is part of a broader strategy to enhance the league's national reach and will help for securing lucrative television rights and achieving their ambitious goal of becoming one of the top soccer leagues in the world. This exciting development came to life in a vibrant unveiling ceremony right outside the Snapdragon Stadium in Mission Valley, the future home of San Diego, starting next year. It should be said that San Diego FC comes in the wake of the sad demise of San Diego Loyal, a storied USL club who played their final match in 2023 after being founded by Landon Donovan and Warren Smith. So a team with huge history going by the wayside there, but I hope San Diego FC can give at least a nod to them in as they go forward from 2025. If you are a Loyal fan, please get in touch. I would love to do something with you. Back to San Diego FC, the choice of name was a deliberate, if slightly underwhelming one, prioritising the city's identity at the forefront. It's seen as a declaration of pride and focus, putting San Diego first in the hearts of its players and fans. The team's colours, chrome and azul, pay homage to the majestic Pacific Ocean, reflecting the city's stunning coastal vibe. The controversial crest, a striking blend of red, yellow and orange, not only captivates the eye but also symbolises the vibrant spirit and dynamic energy of San Diego. The crest is made up of 18 lines, forming what resembles a chrome-clad futuristic soccer ball. This is supposed to represent the 18 communities within the San Diego County, symbolising unity and the collective strength of the region. It has to be said that the new crest was not received universally well, being roasted on social media and even leading some to speculate that it could be changed prior to the club's first season. San Diego FC's SCEO, Tom Penn, shared his excitement. He stated, We believe our crest truly reflects the essence and spirit of San Diego. The club aims not to just participate in MNS, but become a beacon of football excellence and innovation throughout North America. Very grand goals. For their home, the aforementioned Snapdragon Stadium stands ready to welcome their team and its fans. 
This state-of-the-art venue, primarily serving as the home for San Diego State's football team, promises to be a fortress of soccer and passion and excitement in Mission Valley. The anticipation is building as San Diego prepares to make its mark next year. So what's next? It's been broadly agreed that MLS want to bring the league to 32 teams, potentially. So we might have a couple more. So who might they be? Well, Las Vegas has been a hot topic since talks of expansion began, with plans for a downtown stadium and a strong investor group making it a front runner. The Las Vegas Lice USL team have a strong identity and following, so one to keep an eye on there. Similarly, Phoenix, led by Phoenix Rising FC and soccer legend and one of my absolute all-time faves, Didier Drogba, is making a compelling case for plans with a new stadium and growing local support. So could they be our next two teams? Expansion of MLS is not just about adding teams. It's about money. I, I mean, it's about growing the sport of soccer in North America and bringing the beautiful game to cities and new places and creating opportunities for players and fans and money. <clears throat> As we look forward to the future, one thing is clear. The sky is the limit for MLS. What city would you be rooting for to get the next team? I know it's a controversial topic and lots of people have some very strong opinions, but I want to hear them. Let me know. Until next time.